again and welcome. I'm Ana Garcia and this is The Secrets of the Caribbean. The Caribbean, a region of dazzling beauty, overwhelming our senses with sights, sounds and mystery. Join us as we explore the secrets of the Caribbean. Hello again, I'm Ana Garcia. One of the great things about the secrets of the Caribbean is getting to visit out of the way places. This week, join us for something special. The Grenadines, it's a magical area of the Caribbean. A string of islands breathtaking in their beauty. And in Cuba, it's a religious tradition shrouded in mystery, but we pull back the veil of Santeria. And in St. Vincent, you'll have to wait for your dinner, but we'll tell you why it's worth it and much, much more. You never know what you'll see or hear walking down the streets of the Caribbean. When we were in Puerto Rico, we stumbled upon an amazing musician. Wait until you hear his saxophone sing. But up first, known for its breathtaking landscape, the Grenadines is a chain of islands that gives you the chance to slow down, relax, and enjoy the views. Our Jim Scott tells us more about these beautiful islands. They're called the Grenadines, where the beauty of sand, sun, and water combine to create places where people make their homes, make their livings, ensure that centuries-old cultural traditions not only survive, but thrive. The 60 miles of the Grenadine Islands have the unique distinction of being part two of Caribbean nations, St. Vincent and Grenada. This started back in 1791, when St. Vincent took control of the top two thirds of the island chain and Grenada the bottom third. The Grenadines were settled by the French with the intention to create plantations, but low and uncertain rainfall made staying here a precarious situation. The islands have varied landscapes from thickly wooded mountains to small streams and white sandy beaches. But it's the volcanoes that make the soil of the Grenadines fertile, but can lead to times of stress. Over the years, the islands which sit on the Caribbean plate, part of what is sometimes called the Caribbean Ring of Fire, have largely been spared the troubles of Montserrat and Haiti, but the possibility always exists an uneasy alliance with nature in this place of incredible beauty. Because of the fertile soil, the economy here is mostly agricultural and includes a wide variety of fruits and vegetables. While arrowroot used to be a major export in the Grenadines, the leading crop here is now bananas and also sweet potatoes, plantains, yams, and coconuts. The fishing industry also flourishes with major exports going to other Caribbean islands and the United States. But it's tourism, of course, that thrives on these beauty-filled beaches, the clear water, and of course, the cultural experiences at your fingertips. And what about the people of the Grenadines? Why, besides the beauty, do they make their lives here? A lot of it is in history. Their families were original settlers, founders, farmers, and slaves. Two-thirds of the people who live here are direct descendants of the African slaves that were first brought to the sugar plantations of the Grenadines. Religion is also important to these residents. More than half are Protestant, their beliefs apparent in the serene churches you can visit on the islands. No matter where you are in the Grenadines, it's easy to see the history, culture, and stunning beauty that surrounds you. <laughs> 